Deion Sanders confirmed that he has been contacted and offered the Colorado job. Now, I do find this incredibly interesting because typically, I think the rule is, and I believe Stephen Godfrey is the one that that hyped this up the most, but nobody is offered the job until they accept it, right? So, Auburn has not offered the job to anybody yet right? Wink, wink, et cetera. In this situation, like this is one of the reasons why Deion Sanders is not being brought up for some of these bigger jobs, right? His his name has been floated around at Auburn and even at Nebraska and a few other places, right? But Deion Sanders is one of those guys that's just going to tell it like it is. He's got nothing to hide. He's got his own team, his own way of doing things, and he does not give a rip what anybody thinks about it. He's not trying to hide anything. He's not trying to make Colorado look bad or anything like that. But Colorado probably did not want this out there until Dion actually accepts the job. We don't know if Dion's going to take the job, right? That's the biggest issue here. It would be a very interesting fit if Dion Sanders were to take the Colorado job. Uh, it's, I think, kind of a difficult place to recruit right now. I don't know that the money is really going to be there. Now, maybe he can stir up enough support from the boosters with his, you know, his fame and, and the hype that he would bring to that program. But Colorado is in a weird spot anyway. Like, I, I don't know how much excitement you can really generate in Boulder right now, considering you don't know what the state of the Pac-12 is going to be. Uh, the media rights still hasn't been done. Who knows how much money is actually available to that program right now, etc. cetera. Uh, transferring in and out appears to be kind of a... a difficult process at the moment it's that's a that's not a great job right now but it is a power five job quote unquote power five right we'll see what he ends up doing with this but it is a step up the ladder and now Dion's name had been brought up for USF uh, along with a few other places USF would probably make a little bit more sense but Colorado if he wants to come in and make a big splash immediately in a big conference that would be a place to do it and and you would certainly be granted. I, I say that he would see, uh, certainly be granted uh, all kinds of authority over what he wants to get done with that program. But it all kind of depends on what Colorado wants to do. If they're offering it to somebody like Deion Sanders, to me, that is signaling that you don't know what you're doing with your football program and you are willing to just hand it over. That's what it says to me. Now, I could be completely wrong on this. And if you're a Colorado fan watching this, I understand. Jump in the comments. Let me know whether or not I'm right or wrong. But it seems like you only hand it over to that guy if you are willing to wipe your hands of it and just do whatever he wants done. That, that's what it seems to me. Now, I, again, I could be wrong, but we'll, we'll see what Dion decides to do with that. But the fact that he actually came out and confirmed that he has been offered the job, it's very interesting. It's a weird tactic for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>